Good morning, guys. So, as you can tell, it is dark. It is 6.33 a.m. And I just got to work, just parked and all of that. Um, and I'm a little early. I don't start until 7. And I just wanted to, like, kind of give you guys a brief little recap of my first two days working in the sleep center. So, today is Thursday. Monday and Tuesday, I worked in the sleep center. And then yesterday, I worked at the outlying clinic. So, I think I told you guys, I will still be working at the outlying clinic on Wednesdays and Fridays. So, I have really been enjoying the work that I'm doing in the sleep center. So, the first day, I was obviously very nervous. I didn't really know what to expect. I feel like I am doing fantastic for only having these few days um, of working up there. And let me just tell you, I feel like I'm making so much progress. And um, the only downside to this is I feel like it's really hard to adjust back to like the clinic side of things. Like yesterday, I was very confused. I couldn't figure out why I wasn't able to access everything. And then I remembered I was logged into Epic as a sleep tech instead of as a medical assistant. So obviously my permissions are different as a sleep tech than they are as a medical assistant. So I don't really know how that's gonna go. Um, but on my first day, I learned how to do reports for home sleep tests. I learned a bunch of stuff, honestly. I got to talk to our DME rep who handles like all of the um, mask supplies and other supplies like tubing and <clears throat> other things that people may need, um, our patients may need. People can come in and talk to her. She's usually up in our office like one to two days a week so that she can answer people's questions or help them with whatever issues they may have. Um, she is going to be bringing me a packet that she normally gives our <clears throat> patients like when they first come to see her. So that will be interesting. I might show you guys like some of the stuff that's in there or at least talk about it. So I'm really looking forward to it. She asked me if I would be interested in like the information that she gives to the patients so that I can have some sort of knowledge about what is being given to the patients and then that might help me answer patient questions as well. <coughs> I also learned um, about all of our daily routine, like checking voicemails and um, checking all of the supplies on the crash cart and things like that to make sure that we have everything we need. Because not only are we the sleep center, but we also house the crash cart for the second floor of the hospital. <coughs> Um, so it's kind of important to keep up with those things, obviously, but I also, um, learned how to clean our watch pad devices, which is what we use to, um, do the home sleep tests. And I also, on the second day, I got to learn how to like give a demonstration of the watch pad devices because we had like three or four home sleep tests go home yesterday or not yesterday Tuesday um but like I said I am really truly enjoying being up there it's a completely different world from being in the clinic and I kind of like that if I'm being honest um a lot of the chaos is gone like don't get me wrong we were very busy on Tuesday because we had both um so at the hospital that I work at there are two providers who do kind of um, pulmonary and sleep and so on Monday only one of them was there on Tuesday both of them were there so they were both sending us people for um, sleep studies and home sleep tests on Monday I don't think we got anybody that actually got sent home with a home sleep test but we did schedule um, sleep studies we do pediatric sleep studies as well but they have to be I think it's over the age of four um, and I think the ones that we scheduled, the youngest one was five. And I think the oldest one we scheduled was 11. That was like under 15. So 
I don't know, I feel like I'm learning so much. Like, obviously, I know there's a lot more to learn, but I feel like I'm learning so much and I'm picking it up really fast. Like, at the end of the, well, on the second day, I knew how to put, you know, these watch pad devices together, put them in the computer, like set it up, demonstrate it to the patient, give them instruction, put everything together so that they can bring it home. Like, I'm really proud of myself and the progress that I'm making for it only being like my second day. Um, and even the person who's been kind of working with me and training, training me, um, she said that I'm doing great. So I am really excited to see where this goes. Um, we did have a little lunch on Tuesday. Um, the manager ordered pizza and salad and stuff for us. <clears throat> Excuse me, because um, the hospital chose not to celebrate our department for respiratory therapy week and sleep week. So that was kind of shitty, but um, obviously the manager made sure to recognize us even though the hospital didn't. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just thought that I would give you guys a brief little recap. I am going to go inside because I'm getting cold sitting out here and it is 6.39. Um, I've been kind of just going inside and sitting in the clinic and waiting to clock in in the clinic. Um, I need to see if I have access to the clinic schedule yet because for whatever reason, when they gave me access to the sleep center, um, they took away my access to the clinic um, like folder on our computer and that has our schedule and everything in it. So I don't really know why they did that because I work in both departments and like it took away my ability to order medications and vaccines for the outline clinic and that is part of my responsibilities. So I'm not really sure why they did that, but I'm going to go inside and see if they ever fixed it because that's really frustrating. So anyways, it's cold. I'm going inside. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know if you guys have any questions or want me to talk more about my job in the sleep center because I'm super excited about starting this journey. And obviously I've got a long way to go, but you guys will be there every step of the way if you choose to be. So stay tuned. And I will talk to you guys next time.